Arguments and conflict are uncomfortable things that we're going to have to deal with if we are to be a part of society. And for better or worse, we are all a part of society. Disagreements are a trade-off that we have to make in order to do what we're naturally inclined to do, live communally. But there's some wisdom from the Stoics that could help us with the inevitable arguments that we'll have to face. As Marcus Aurelius says, when you have to deal with someone, ask yourself, what does he mean by good and bad? If he thinks X or Y about pleasure and pain and what produces them, about fame and disgrace, about life and death, then it shouldn't shock or surprise you when he does X or Y. In fact, I'll remind myself that he has no real choice. The side effect of more people is more points of view and more conflicting ideas of right and wrong. Where do this person's values lie? How do they think? Put yourself in their shoes. When people injure you, ask yourself what good or harm they thought would come of it. If you understand that, you'll feel sympathy rather than outrage or anger. The first law in Robert Greene's Laws of Human Nature is master your emotional self. When we're approaching any type of conflict, it's better to approach it with a level head by taking as much time as possible to reduce your emotions around the situation. We'll be able to see the other person's perspective and we'll be able to see what benefit they thought would come to them. Then, when it's time to have that inevitable confrontation with your dad, your work colleague, your partner, whoever, you'll approach it not in trying to win or to show them who's boss, but from the perspective that there's a problem that we have to work on together as common citizens and we're gonna get through it.